Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the Windows 11 25 H2 November 2025 update, also known as KB5068861. This is the main release build that's rolling out right now to all users. If you're wondering what's new, what's changed, and whether you should update, stick around. According to Microsoft and several tech blogs, this update was supposed to bring some pretty noticeable user interface changes, including a new start menu layout, a redesigned battery icon, and even a task manager fix. Well, I installed it, and guess what? The new start menu and battery icon, nowhere to be found. As you can see, there is no toggle switch to switch on the battery percentage. All right, now here's the part Microsoft actually fixed with this update, and it's a pretty big one. Remember that weird task manager bug that came with the optional update KB5067036? Yeah, the one where you closed Task Manager, but it kept running secretly in the background anyway. So here's what was happening. Even after you hit that little X to quit Task Manager, the app wasn't really closing. Instead, it stayed active in the background and sometimes even launched multiple hidden instances. Now, having one or two background Task Manager processes isn't usually a big deal. But when there are five or more quietly running, your system can start to feel it. Now, with the KB5068861 November update, Microsoft says they've finally patched that bug. When you close um, Task Manager now, it actually shuts down completely. No hidden instances left running in the background. It's a small fix, but it makes a big difference in overall system smoothness, especially if you keep Task Manager open a lot while monitoring your system. Let us go back to the Start menu and Battery icon. User interface improvements, that is what most people have been waiting for instead of enabling them. Using Vive tool, here's the thing. Microsoft often tests and rolls out new features gradually, even though KB5 068861 is available for everyone. Some features are still controlled by uh, feature ID toggles, uh, meaning they're not automatically enabled for every PC just yet. Basically, uh, the update uh, installs the code, but the new UI is hidden behind server-side activation. So if your PC hasn't been picked by Microsoft servers, uh, you'll get the performance fixes and security updates uh, but not the new design changes yet, uh, sucks right. Microsoft is enabling them slowly to monitor feedback and stability. Also, some UI changes arrive to certain markets or device types first. If you found this video helpful, drop a like, subscribe for more Windows and free software reviews, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss upcoming updates and hidden feature videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.